there's the boards I cut yesterday. I'm going to put them together to lay them down on the floor here, screw them together. Just going to put them together dry because they've got to be taken apart, sprayed, taken to the job, and then put together, taken upstairs and put together. So, as you can see, I ain't got a lot of space in here. This is only eight foot square, and they're 100 mil short of eight foot. So, first thing I need to do, take some of this shelving to bits, so that I've got the floor area. I'm not going to put the backs on. I'm just going to put some braces on. It's pissing it down, so I'm not going to be cutting the backs today, probably. Tidy up a bit. Take that shelving down. Which is what I like about this. Because they'll just come out. And I can stack them behind there. Right, there you go. I'm hoping that's going to be long enough. It'll stick out here a bit, but stand it up. The ceiling's only just short of eight foot as well, so like I say, they all stuck behind there. This is beach for the for the doors and the frames. Most of these boards will go together. Right, I've just put these little clamps on the top just to help me hold it in place while I screw it together. These screws are coarse thread drywall screws. They're not very strong, they've got very little shear strength. If you put them in too hard they'll break the head off. But they're quite a narrow shank. Like I say the coarse thread bites well. In my pocket I have two bits, this one we're going to use, it's set slightly short of the screw, so when I drill in there'll only be the sort of tip of the screw that's doing the work. If you don't pilot it, you'll break it out there. So this screw will go in and then it'll be holding by this bit here, which is hold held on all the way around. And it shouldn't split this front edge, front edge there. And this is sitting on this. The biscuits will give it some strength, the screws will give it some strength. It's more to stop it moving rather than to hold it so should be fine this. Don't over tighten them like you say, rip the head off.
these are these are Phillips head screws so uh, a Phillips head bit not a posi drive there's a difference Right, simple frame, just screw together. My floor was surprisingly level, so I've just put a couple of brackets either end to hold it in place. This rail will sit underneath that. That one's just central, and one at each end. Right, there you go. Just start thinking about making the front frame of course all the beach had to come off the shelves from behind there some there I'm going to be ripping up these wider boards I'm going to rip into the framework you cut into big boards like this there's a good chance they're going to start warping so I don't want to use them for the doors and all the other wood is up there on the pile Extractors over there, lathes there, jointer, thicknesser, workbench. It's going to get extended that way, but if ever you're building a workshop, build it a thousand times bigger than you need because you'll never have enough room. And working in a little workshop like this is you've got to do a thousand other things before you can get on with what you're doing. So like taking shelves down, moving wood.
explain this board as straight as I can but with these skinny boards it's almost impossible to get them perfectly straight which is going to be fun when it comes to doing the doors but there's a way of dealing with that I'll show you later right these are going to be fixed on with biscuits and dominoes on the joints right front frames temporarily fitted there's no glue on anything yet so I've got to put clamps here and there like so biscuits behind there every one of these pencil marks so about every 14 inch or so there's a biscuit on the corners I've put a pencil mark where there's going to be a domino domino there these two boards for these two separate units need fixing together but I think there's going to be in shelves in here so I think I'm going to fix it behind there or behind the hinges that are going to be on this side that's it for today, dominoes tomorrow and I can start playing at Woodfoot Doors